I think we've all been there at some point of our lives that we wish we knew something rather sooner than later in life. Rather, it's a piece of advice, a habit, or a mindset. And that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about. Today, I'm going to be sharing my personal four life advices that I wish I knew sooner than later, or I wish someone has told me. And I like to hope that my four advices I bring today hopefully can make, you know, a significant difference in your life. And hopefully, uh, they resonate with you. I think we often take life's challenges for granted sometimes, you know, assuming, you know, we'll figure things out as we go. But the truth is, life can be very tough sometimes life could give us a good whooping ass kicking and it could be so easy to get caught up on the daily grind you know we get so focused on putting out fires and meeting deadlines that we can overlook the important lessons that can help us grow as individuals. And then there are those moments, you know, we face with a difficult situation and we always get left wondering why we didn't see this coming. It's like if we're stuck in a never ending cycle of trial and error, hoping that someday we'll stumble upon the right formula for success in life. But what if I told you that there are certain certain lessons that can help your negative life obstacles with more ease and confidence. Lessons that can help you make better decisions, build stronger relationships, and, you know, find more purpose in life. It's like having, you know, like a roadmap to guide, you know, you through the ups and downs in life, allowing you to learn from your mistakes and make you know, a few adjustments here and there along the way. And unfortunately, including myself, most of us don't learn these lessons until, you know, it's a little bit too late sometimes. We're forced to learn through the trials and the errors, and often it takes a major setback or failure to wake us up sometimes. But what if I told you you can maybe learn these lessons a little bit earlier in life and avoid, you know, some pain and struggle that comes with figuring things out on your own. So with that being said, I wanna share with you my four best life lessons that I wish I learned sooner or later, or I wish that maybe someone told me. Number one, and one of the most important lessons I've learned is the power of self-awareness. Self-awareness is the ability to understand your thoughts, emotions, and behaviors, and how they can impact your life. When you're self-aware, you can start to identify your strengths and weakness better and make conscious decisions about how you know you want to show up in the world and obviously it's not always going to be easy but once you can tackle this down it is such a game changer i can promise you that i remember a time when i was struggling with my anxiety and i realized that my negative self-talk was a major contributor to my uh, stress levels. But once I became more aware of my thoughts, I was able to make, you know, a conscious effort, you know, to shift my mindset and focus on the more positive outcomes in life. My second life advice would be um, the importance of setting healthy boundaries. It is so easy to get caught up, you know, in the people pleasing phase and, you know, saying yes to almost everything in life but ultimately that will come with a cost you will ultimately sacrifice you know your own needs and desires and eventually that could lead you to mental burnout i used to be the type of person who would always say yes to everything to every request and even if it meant sacrificing my own time and energy i still kind of struggle with this one if i'm being brutally honest but i am slowly working at this advice i am usually the type of person that would say yes to almost everything every request and you know it ultimately meant sacrificing my own time and energy but i am currently learning as i'm going that you know setting boundaries is not you know about being selfish it's about being honest and respect your own limits don't forget it is okay to say no sometimes in life and most importantly it is okay to prioritize your own needs if need so my third life advice i'm going to share with you will be the power of gratitude it is so easy to get caught up in the negativity and focus on you know what's lacking in our lives sometimes but the more you shift your focus on 
on what you're more grateful for in life, it changes everything. It's not about necessarily uh, ignoring the negative. It's about choosing to focus on the positive. Let me give you a, an example of like maybe a relationship. Let's say that you're someone that let's say went through a tough breakup. And of course, at the breakup, you're going to be feeling so down on yourself. But then let's say you start to gratitude, you know, let's say your journal. And because of that, it completely shifted your perspective in life. You began to focus on the good things in life. And it ultimately help maybe you heal faster in that pain process. My fourth and final life advice that I wish I learned sooner rather than later and probably one of the most important ones was being true to yourself. When we're honest with ourselves and others, we start to live in a much more authentic life. We start to let go of the need for validation and approval from others. And we begin to truly focus on what truly matters and makes us happy. Many times I would try to fit into a certain mode, trying to be someone I thought others wanted me to be. But ultimately it ended up being super exhausting and it wasn't until I let go of that need for validation that I started to truly find happiness in myself. The most significant lesson I learned about being true to myself is the key to happiness. It's the foundation of living a life that's authentic and fulfilling. And when we're honest with ourselves and others, it's when we start to live that is true to who we are. And when we're true to ourselves, we start to attract the right people and the opportunities into our lives. Thank you so much for spending a few minutes out of your day to check out this video. God bless you for that. And as always, the comments are there if you wanna share your input, life stories, advice, anything, I'm more happy to read and respond. Also, feel free to use the comments for any subject topic matters that you maybe want me to talk about in the next few videos, any recommendations, suggestions i would love to take those as well i'm adam representing team sos thank you so much for your time of your day uh and yeah i'm signing out and i'll see you on the next one peace